am 29 weeks and four days in my third trimester and I thought it's time to blow up the ball and start using this. So I do have a um, compressor, but I kind of want the arm workout to use this. So hopefully this goes easy and yeah, I'm gonna speed through this though, so. Oh yeah, this is gonna work out really good. So I will give you guys a little sneak peek. I have some of her stuff over here drying. And then like on the door, we've been doing lots of laundry. So I am gonna be doing all like a what's in my hospital bag, but I did get a few items from Amazon that I like to share with you guys. I got these Turkish towels. I got two of them. So I need to wash these and put them in the hospital bag. But they're awesome because I heard the hospital towels are awful and these fold up so nicely for your bag. I got the Freedom Mom. Everybody recommends that. I got some new slippers. I got this toiletry bag. It opens like that and it has a little hanger on there. And the material feels really good. I got Victor some joggers off Amazon that we could just have in there. This, he still hasn't tried them on and I'm still waiting for his slippers to come in as well because he wears most of his clothes so I don't want to risk at the end having to pack all of his stuff. So I've been trying to buy some new stuff for him. My mom got me this water bottle by Iron Flask for the hospital and it is amazing. Okay, now that the dishes are done, I am just going to clean up a little bit here. Like the table is a little bit of a mess. And then the living room over there, over here, has some mess. So yeah, let's do a little clean with me. This is what I typically do in a day. And my belly always gets wet after I do the dishes since it just sticks out. I don't know. I'm going to put this into my little wax warmer. It's the pumpkin butter by Woodwick. And the living room never gets too messy. I just have to pick up things. You set my world on fire. That is pretty much it for my little <laughs> daily cleanup. I do that every single day. Wash the dishes, clean the countertop, make sure everything's nice and clean. And then I always pick up the couch. Um, Fold the throw blankets, but we didn't use any last night because we weren't in the living room. 
so that made it extra easy <laughs> okay so it is a few hours later i made a stop off at target <laughs> i wish i would have brought my camera with me but it probably would have been really hard for you guys to hear me anyways since you have to wear a mask but since i did get my little toiletry bag i decided that i would go to target and pick some things up so i did pick up these they look so good pumpkin cheesecake sandwiches and then i picked up some more of my myers peony scent spray because i'm almost out of that let me just dump all this out okay so originally i was going to buy those little sample bags where you can fill your own stuff but i couldn't find those anywhere in target so i just bought minis of stuff so i do want this to be like maybe one bag for me and then one bag for victor I'm trying to see which one's the biggest since i'm gonna be the one that has more stuff <laughs> Okay, so I did pick up a shampoo and conditioner. This is not my normal shampoo and conditioner. I am a Joico lover. That's usually what I use. Of course, they don't have many of Joico. So I'm just going to take these shampoo and conditioner with me. I'm not sure if I will want to wash my hair, but just in case I do, I want to be prepared. And then this is actually the body wash that we use in the bigger one. So I went ahead and got myself one. And then we opened his side. And then I got him one as well. And then I got him this head and shoulder shampoo for him. I got him a little deodorant. I got me a little hairspray. I got a little dry shampoo for myself. I got me a little travel size deodorant. And then I got this downy wrinkle release because since our stuff is going to be in the bag, I don't want like the stuff that we're gonna take photos in. If it gets wrinkled, of course, I'm not going to feel like ironing. So I got this and maybe I'll put that in his side. I did get us a little travel toothpaste that we can both share. And I just put that at the top because I do have travel toothbrushes for us. So this is what it looks like so far. This is mine. And this is his. And then we can add some stuff down here. But yeah, I was really excited to get this in. So I wanted to see how much stuff would actually fit in here. <laughs> And I will definitely be filming a what's in my hospital bag. I've been, for the last few weeks now, just slowly gathering stuff. Just so it's not overwhelming to wait till the last minute because I am a planner. Like, I like to have things done. If we weren't going to have my baby shower here at my house, I would already have packed all my hospital bag. But since... We are going to have her baby shower here. <laughs> it is October 24th. I want to wait to see what we get for the baby shower before I completely pack everything. Okay, as you guys can tell, it is a few days later. It is Monday now, and we had a great busy weekend. I even ended up to break my nail. These are my real nails, and it's pretty dang broken like all the way down to here so out that hurt a lot um but i am gonna go into marshall's i am still on the hunt and the search for a laundry basket for our nursery i'm either looking for a pink one a white one something smaller something not too large since she's a baby <laughs> and baby clothes are so small um, but i want something to go right next to her dresser so still on the hunt since i was out running errands but i thought since i'm near this marshall's and i haven't been to this one in a long time we can go in and check it out i am unfortunately going to leave you guys in the car <laughs> because i do have to wear a mask so it's going to be really hard for me to talk anyway so wish me luck that i find something <laughs> it is like 70 degrees 69 degrees so i decided to wear like just a v-neck t-shirt and a cardigan over it but man being pregnant walking around <laughs> Marshalls is a lot so I did not get the laundry basket 
there was no plastic laundry baskets it's like gonna be a struggle for me I always pick something that takes forever to find but still on the hunt still looking for it so if you guys know any place that sells blush pink laundry baskets let me know down below <laughs> but I did do some damage I got a big bag of stuff for the baby and just some random stuff um, but as soon as we get home I will do kind of like a little haul for you guys so you guys can see what I got all right so let's go on home okay <laughs> it is actually a few hours later um, I had to come back home then I had to go to Walmart to get Victor some oil and an oil filter <laughs> and I am worn out <laughs> I even stopped at Starbucks and got myself like a little chai tea latte and a pumpkin muffin. Sorry about this light. Right here I tried to turn the whole camera this way, so sorry about that. I got this huge bag from Marshall, so I just thought I would do like a little haul with you guys so you guys can see what I got. In no particular order, I'm just pulling out what's in here. Okay, so first item, the one on top. This is a chickpea blanket. And this was $6.99 and it is just so cute. It's very neutral. And my December baby is gonna be born in December, so I'm trying to stock up on blankets. And then I saw this really cute stuffed animal and I could not resist. And it has a rattle. I don't think it squeaks or anything, but the ears have like that sound. My dog loves this sound, so <laughs> I hope he doesn't try to get it. And by Kelly Baby, and this is $4.99. And it's a pretty good size, super cute. So when I was there, there were so many ladies in the baby section. They were marking so many items on clearance. I wish I could have stuck around and seen all the other cute stuff, but it was just taking way too long. So I did pick up this 18 month little dress and it is like this really pretty dusty pink color with a gold and then it has like this like kind of shimmery gold flowers and the whole thing shimmery and then the little buttons on the back are roses. Super cute. The brand is Catherine Maldrino. And it was um, originally $14.99 and on sale for $10. When I see stuff on sale for her, like for next year, I go ahead and pick it up because why not? Okay, sticking on the baby category, I found this little book and it's so cute because I bought a little giraffe. <laughs> so I picked up this book that says My Baby. It says that it's originally $9.99 and I got it on sale for $3 and it feels really good, like a squishy book. And I just really love these like, these kind of books because I know that they're gonna like hold up to whenever she's older and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I love books. I think books are a great baby shower gift too. And then I found this for when she's older too. I used to be obsessed with American Girl, and I found this little doll. It's like a little mini American Girl doll, and this is Julie. So it comes with her, three books, and then a little stand. And she's so adorable, so I just thought, that is so cute, I'll put that away for her whenever she's older. And the next two items I picked up are for me. I needed some leggings really bad and the brand that i got is of course my favorite brand if you guys have been following me for a while and it is the 90 degrees i just love them they hold up really well they are not see-through um, they didn't have my size which i'm usually a large when i'm not pregnant and when i am pregnant so i did pick up an extra large i'm hoping that they will fit um, I am pregnant and I'm gonna get bigger. I'm I will be 30 weeks tomorrow So I did go ahead and pick up an extra large and I picked up black and they have that pocket that I love I picked up black and then olive green and Do these have a pocket? No, these don't have a pocket. But yeah, I picked up those two um the only thing is, is that Marshall's right now because of the pandemic and stuff, you cannot try anything on. So I'll definitely have to try these on and then 
hopefully they will fit. So that is what I got from Marshalls. And then now, I was trying to wait a little bit longer to see if my next Amazon order would come in. And unfortunately it still hasn't. It actually says that it's gonna be late. So I don't know if that means that it's still coming or what. So I thought we could do a little Amazon unboxing. So here's the first box. And you know, Amazon's usually pretty good about packaging all my items together, but cause I even select that part on there, like, you know, to box them all together if you can. But here lately, they have not been all coming together. Okay, this is the electric balloon pump that I wanted for my baby shower. I'm gonna be making one of those balloon arches and I have a helium tank and then those don't get helium. So this just blows regular air without you having to sit there and blow on them. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I'll leave a link for this. It was on sale whenever I picked it up. Okay, next item is in this big envelope. Okay, this is cute. This is from our registry. <laughs> our friend Michelle actually ordered a few things off of our registry and I got a few of them on Friday. And then these are the other two items that she went ahead and ordered for us. I am so excited about this little outfit. <laughs> okay, so here is the little top. And then here are the little overalls and this kind of just ties in a little bow. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little, little high-waisted little pants with this little top so her little belly will stick out. <laughs> so cute. I'm not sure if she watches my videos, but if you're watching Michelle, thank you so much. We really appreciate everything. And then here is the other little item that was on my registry. Oh, it's so cute. It is this little rose headband. And I thought this would be perfect for newborn photos. So cute, look how little that is. So cute, so thank you so much, Michelle. Okay, next one is in this little envelope here. These envelopes, I will tell you, I get scared cutting them open because you never know if your item is gonna be in the way. This is a gift from a friend, Tasha, and she got me this little necklace. I already know what it is. Came in this little box. Oh, it is so precious. So it is just this little dainty L necklace. Isn't that super cute? And I got an L for not only my name, but for my baby girl. Her name's gonna start with an L as well. So I can support both of us. <laughs> Next one is gonna be in this package right here. These ones I like because you can just rip them right open. Okay, this is another package off of our registry. And this is from Maria. Okay, and this is actually a um, copper pearl swaddle blanket and this is in the shade grace our bed sheet for her our crib sheet for her is in the same print and i'm so excited for this i have the swaddle blanket the hat the bow headband and the car seat cover on my registry and she got me the swaddle blanket so so excited for that. Okay, there is one item that I did open up. It actually ended up getting sent to my dad's house. <laughs> Not sure how that mix up happened, but this is the Soothing Coconut Coffee Body Cream and it smells amazing. I will say that I thought I was getting the body wash, but um, I went ahead and ordered the body wash because it's on sale right now. So I'll have both the body cream and the lotion. Next item is in this big box here. Okay, this one has a, 
two items in it. So the first one is called Bag Smart, and I actually ordered our toiletry case from them um, for our hospital bag, and I really liked how the quality was, so I went ahead and ordered this cable organizer. Not just for the hospital, but for my everyday life. So, looks like this. And I actually have what I have been putting all my camera cable and stuff in. It is this bag here. But as you can tell, like the bag is getting heavy and it's getting too full. So, let's see if we can put everything in here. So, this is my external hard drive. Okay, so I put my external hard drive here and it's cord here. I do have this little remote for my camera. It was also in that bag. And I'm just gonna put that in this little mesh part right here. So I put my little SD container here. It keeps them protected. And then the next piece is this little thing that I have for my laptop so I can put my SD cards in. Cool. And I put that at the bottom here. I'm sure if you didn't have an external hard drive, you could keep something else right there. But since I do have my external hard drive, it takes up a lot of room. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm actually going to use this when we go to the hospital as well. And I'm gonna put like my camera cords in here. I have my other battery charging, so hopefully it'll fit in here as well. But so far I like it, it's nice. And the next item are these Tux Witch Hazel pads. I've been hearing a lot of really great things about these for your hospital bag. Um, some people say that some hospitals do provide these. But because of COVID and everything, I'm not sure if they will. So I went ahead and picked this up. I think, yeah, 100 pads come in here. I am going to pack it in my hospital bag. And if I don't end up using them, I'll just use them postpartum at home. But I do want to take them with me to not take the chance. Another thing people said to get is the Dermaplast spray. So... I don't know if I'm going to be ordering the Dermaplast spray just yet, but I do have it on my list of things that I need to pick up. But yeah, I hope you guys kind of like this little vlog style, um, what I do in a day kind of thing. Um, I'm going to try to get better at vlogging because I have really been loving vlogs. So I want to start incorporating vlog style videos on my channel because I'm really into watching those right now. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below so that you guys don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful blessed day wherever you are and bye. you